glad to be uh, connected up with you guys overseas. Uh, tukaj v Ameriki smo veseli, da, da smo lahko povezani z vami na drugi strani morja. We all uh, are, are working together as believers all over the world and that's wonderful. Vsi delamo skupaj kot verniki po celemu svetu in to je čudovito. We must continuously encourage one another. In moramo ne nehno opogumljati drug drugega. We must uh, you know, stay connected as best we can. That's very important. Moramo stati povezani najboljško, kar lahko. To je zelo pomembno. Because we're all part of the body of Christ. Ker smo vsi del telesa Jezusa Kristusa. If you're a believer, uh, then you are a part of the body. Če ste vernik, če si vernik, potem si del Jezusovega telesa. So we uh, feel in our hearts, Linda and I, Oda, jaz in Linda imava v srcu močno to talk about the um, spiritual authority that believers have. Da govorimo o duhovni avtoriteti, ki jo imajo verniki. Spiritual authority can be a bit uh, confusing at times. Duhovna avtoriteta je lahko v časah malo predmet zmede. So I think God gave us and especially gave me the assignment to talk to believers about this uh, issue of authority. In verjamam da uh, mi je Bog dal nalogo da govorim vernikom o tej uh, zadevi o avtoriteti. So so my uh, desire and Linda's desire is to share teaching from the word on this issue but do it very very slowly and uh, line upon line uh, so that we can all get it uh, and so we're going to go slowly and uh, teach on this for quite a long time as we go through the next months. In bova učila o tem, kar precej časa v naslednjih mesecih. So don't uh, give up on me. Tako da ne obupat nad mano. Let me go through it. Sometimes maybe it seems a bit simple. Um, v časah lahko zgleda malce enostavno to. But we need that foundation. Ampak potrebujemo močen temel glede tega. It's like building a house, you have to build the foundation first. Tako da, podobno ko gradiš hišo, moraš najprej zgraditi temel. You put the foundation blocks in one at a time. Postavaš te temeljne kamne enega po enega. And eventually you will have a wall that uh, or a foundation that you can build one. In na koncu boš imel pla- plato, površino, na katero lahko gradiš. And it will be strong. In bo močna. And it will not be shaken. In ne bo pretresena. You'll find that it will not move. In uh, boš ugotovo, da te nič ne bo premaknil. It will keep you steady. Uh, lahko boš trden. And uh, there you can build a very strong, on that you can build a very strong Christian life. In na takem močnem temelju lahko gradiš zelo močno krščansko življenje. So today I'm, we're going to share a few minutes da danes bom nekaj minut govoril. Then we would like uh, you to ask uh, maybe a few questions. Oziroma nekaj časa bom govoril in potem uh, bi, bi dal priložnost, da vprašate kakšno vprašanje, lahko jih tudi na, na chat napišete. And uh, we uh, will um, um, be able to uh, just today give an introduction to you. 
in donors be vam dal what so if you do, if you do take notes uh, da si zapisujete maybe you would want to start a notebook mogoče bi bilo dober če en nov zvezek začnete uporabljati and this would be the beginning in to bi bil začetek teh zapiskov v novom zvezku of an understanding of authority uh, razumevanja avtoritete and uh, as as we make statements uh, the, that kind of hit you write them down in ko uh, povemo kakšne stavke izjave ki ki vas zadanejo ki se vas dotaknejo jih zapište what we want to do today is uh, give you a introduction on having awareness uh, that there are two different worlds that we live in. Kada začel bomo z zavedanjem, da sta dva različna svetova, v katerih živimo. And that's very important to be aware of this. In to je zelo pomembno, da se zavedamo tega. We want to understand this. Hočemo to razumeti. And we want to be able to daily, every day, realize what that means for us. In hočemo se vsak dan zavedat, kaj to pomeni za nas. While we live on this earth as a, as a human being, we're going to live in this natural world here. In v času, ko živimo v, na tej zemlji kot uh, naravna bitja, pač živimo v, v naravnem svetu, materialnem svetu. And this is how God designed us to live on this earth for a certain number of years. In tako nas je Bog oblikoval, da živimo na tej zemlji določeno število let. And uh, we have five senses. In imamo pet čutil. If, with which we uh, communicate with this world. In preko njih komuniciramo s tem svetom. And we use all those senses every day. In vse, vsa te čutila uporabljamo vsak dan. You know, we see, we hear, we touch, we smell, we taste. Vidimo, and, slišimo, no. se dotikamo, uh, okušamo, um, čutimo. And uh, so this is how we communicate with this natural world. In na ta način komuniciramo z naravnim svetom. And then God gave us the ability to uh, use our voice. In potem Bog nam je dal zmožnost, da uporabljamo svoj glas. And with the voice comes uh, words. In z našim glasom pridejo besede. Now that seems very simple. To se zveni zelo enostavno. But words are the way God created this world. Ampak z besedami je Bog ustvaru ta svet. He spoke words. On je govoril besede. So he gave made man much like him in his image. In je ustvaru človeka po njegovi podobi. And he gave us the ability to speak words. In je dal tudi nam zmožnost, da govorimo besede. And he gave us a heart to believe. In je nam je dal srce, ki lahko veruje. He gave us a mind and a will and emotions. Dal nam je um uh, in voljo in emocije, čustva. So when we think about authority, we can uh, understand there is natural authority in some ways, then there are spiritual authority. Da, ko govorimo o avtoriteti, lahko razumemo, da obstaja naravna avtoriteta v določenih pogledih in tudi duhovna avtoriteta. So God put his spirit within us. In Bog je dal svojega duha znotraj nas. And you're, if you're born again, you have a new spirit in you. In če si na novo rojen, imaš novega duha v sebi. And then Jesus... Uh, when he was on the earth, he stripped Satan of his power. In Jezus, ko je bil na zemlji, je uh, oduzel hudiču njegovo moč. Because he is the God of this world. Ker hudič je Bog. Go ahead. Hudič je Bog tega sveta. 
where Adam and Eve gave him uh, that headship. Adam in Eva sta mu dala to, to mesto. But Jesus, the second Adam, the Bible ampak, says. Ampak Jezus, ki je drugi Adam, kakor ga imenuje Sveto Pismo. Took that authority back that uh, Satan uh, was able to give from Adam. Je vzel to avtoriteto nazaj, to, kar je uh, Satan ukradu Adamu. So, to be aware of these two different worlds is very, very important. Tako da zavedanje teh dveh različnih svetov, duhovnega in naravnega, je zelo pomembno. Uh, you know, Paul in the book of Philippians, Pavel, Pavel v Filipljani Hena, Philippians 1.21 Ena, Ena in Dvajset makes a comment that just indicates uh, two different worlds. Uh, pravi pač pove eno, en komentar, ki nakaže dva različna svetova. So he says for to live, and he's talking about living in the natural world, is Christ which means uh, you can live as a believer here if you're born again. And then to die is gain, which means once your natural body dies, you have uh, access to the kingdom of heaven. Uh, pravi, živeti je zame Kristus, to pomeni živeti v temu telesu, v naravnemu svetu, je zame Kristus, uh, in uh, umreti dobiček, uh, to pomeni, ko, ko se to življenje konča, se začne neki novga, novo življenje. So having this awareness that as I live on this earth, I can live uh, being connected to Jesus very personally. Tako da uh, se zavedamo, da ko živimo na tej zemlji, smo že lahko zelo osebno povezani z Jezusom. And while I'm connected to Jesus here, uh, he gave me the authority because I am part of the body of Christ. In med tem, ko sem povezan z Jezusom, uh, mi je dana njegova avtoriteta, ker sem del njegovega telesa. Because he said he is going back to the Father after the, after the resurrection, uh, he's going back to the Father, and he, uh, because the Father raised him up, and that he is going to be seated uh, at the right hand of the Father. Ker Jezus je rekel, da bo, da bo šel nazaj k očetu, potem, ko ostane od mrtvih, uh, in bo sedel na njegovo desnico. So, this is... Uh, Jesus, our head, or the head of the church. In govorimo o Jezusu, ki je naša glava in je glava crkve. He went back to heaven. On je šel nazaj v nebesa. Because he finished his work on the earth. Ker je dokončal svojo delo na zemlji. So before he left, he gave us authority to be his body on the earth. In predanje očev je dal nam avtoriteto, da smo njegovo telo tukaj na zemlji. Because for anything to happen here uh, that carries authority, it has to come through people. Ker uh, vse, kar se tukaj na zemlji lahko zgodi, čez avtoriteto mora pridati skozi ljudi. The body of Christ and the earth is made up of people who are believers. In telo Jezusa Kristusa na zemlji je sestavljeno iz ljudi, ki so verniki. So Jesus gave his authority to us as believers while we are here on earth as human beings. Tako da Jezus nam je dal svojo avtoriteto kot vernikom med tem, ko živimo na tej zemlji kot ljudje. We have a right to be here. Mi imamo pravico, da smo tukaj. Because we were born here. Ker smo bili rojeni na zemlo. Somebody who's not born on the earth has no right to be on the earth. Nekdo, ki se ne rodi na zemlji, uh, nima pravice biti na zemlji. If you have some aliens flying into earth on a flying saucer, 
and they come here, they are illegal. Če pridejo kakšni uh, izven, izven zemljska bitja na letečem krožniku na zemlo, so tukaj ilegalno. We call us earthlings and those other creatures would be aliens. Uh, sebe imenujemo, uh, mi smo zemljska bitja, a oni so pa uh, nezemljani. The only people that have rights to use authority in the earth uh, as far as uh, being uh, a part of the body is concerned are our people. Vsi, ki imajo lahko avtoriteto na zemlji, so ljudje. People who are natural, born, flesh and blood people. Ljudje, ki so naravni, materialni meso in kri, rojeni tukaj na zemlji. So if you're a natural person, um and you are born again you are a, are a person who can use god's authority on the earth tako da če si naravna oseba in si na novo rojen lahko uporabljaš božjo avtoriteto so we will talk about that later but right now we need to be aware that we are natural people on the earth but we are also spirit beings. O tem bomo govorili še kasneje, ampak uh, zdaj se rabimo zavedati tega, da smo naravna bitja tukaj na zemlji, hkrati smo pa tudi duhovna bitja. There is a spiritual side to us. In je, je pač uh, duhovna stran vsakega od nas. Where we are uh, you know where i should say where god breathed his life into us ko je bok vdihnil svoje življenje v nas he gave us a spirit nam je dal duha and god is a spirit in bok je duh so we communicate with god through our spirit tako da komuniciramo z bogom uh, po našem duhu preko našega duha even while we are still here on the earth as human beings. Že zdaj, ko smo še ljudje na zemlji. So, let's just look at a few scriptures that would indicate that. Tako da dajmo pogledati nekaj citatov, ki bojo nam uh, potrdili te stvari. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. V Galačanom 5, 25. Galatians 5.25, it says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Pravi, če živimo po duhu, tudi delajmo po duhu. So if we're a believer, we are born again. Če smo verniki, smo na novo rojeni. We can do something called living in the Spirit. Lahko uh, živimo v duhu. We can pray. Lahko we molimo. Can talk to God. Lahko gremo do Boga. We can know in our hearts that we are children of God. Lahko v srcih vemo, da smo Božji otroci. And we can also walk out our life here uh, in direct connection to God. In lahko živimo to življenje v direktni povezanosti z Bogom. But we are still natural people until we die. Ampak smo še vedno naravni ljudje, dokler ne umremo. So this is being aware of the fact there are two worlds we live in. To je to zavedanje dveh svetov, v katerih živimo. We walk in this natural world and we sometimes call it carnal world or flesh and blood or uh, uh, something that expresses us as human beings. Živimo v temu naravnem svetu, časa ga imenujemo uh, materialni svet oziroma uh, meso in kri, uh, pač to, kar potrebujemo, da živimo kot človeška bitja tukaj. So God wants us to understand, because we are, are, are here on earth, confined here as natural human beings, we still can walk in a spiritual world that God has prepared for us. 
Tako da Bog želi, da razumemo, da čeprav smo na nek način priklenjeni na ta naravni svet kot človeška bitja, da še vedno lahko živimo tudi v duhovnem svetu. So in another uh, verse in Galatians, uh, chapter 5, verse 16, v drugmu uh, citatu v Galačanih 5, 16, it says there, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Pravi, živite v duhu in nikako ne boste stregli po želenju mesa. So here are two worlds. Tukaj sta dva sveta vidna. Apostle Paul said, you know, there, we can walk in the spirit. Apostol Pavel je rekel, da lahko hodimo v duhu. Anytime. Kadarkoli. We are awake. Morning till night. Od jutra do večera. But also during that time, we can walk in the flesh. Hkrati pa lahko v tem času hodimo tudi v meso. But he says the flesh sometimes wants to do its own thing. Ampak pravi, da meso hoče delati svoje stvari. Because the lust of the flesh means, you know, the flesh likes certain things. Ker to poželenje mesa pomeni, da meso hoče določene stvari, samo všeče stvari. So if you just let your flesh do its thing, In če dovoliš svojemu mesu, da počne to, kar hoče, it will just want to eat, bo hotel sam jest, spati, med zabavo, play, se igrat, and all kinds of natural things, vse različne naravne stvari, which may not necessarily be bad things, kar nujno niso slabe stvari, but sometimes they are, ampak časih so, because they are destructive ker so uničevalne or they are because they are dangerous ali pa so nevarne uh, they are self-centered ali so usmerjene na se sebične and 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 these things can lead us in can lead us into trouble in take stvari nas lahko vodijo v težave but the 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 flesh is always there In meso je vedno prisotno. And the walk in the spirit means the Holy Ghost can lead me in ways to keep me out of letting my flesh dominate my life. Hoja v duhu pomeni, da me sveti duh lahko vodi na način, da meso ne more dominirati, prevladvati v mojemu življenju. You know, Sunday morning, you wake up and the flesh says, I am tired. I don't want to go to church. V nedeljo zjutraj se zbudiš in meso reče, utrujen sem, noče mi tu cerko. Now that's your flesh talking. Tako govori tvoj meso. You know, you have a sense in your heart that you should do something for somebody else. Maš čutaš v svojemu srcu, da bi hotel narediti nekaj za nekoga drugega. And the flesh would say, well, that's a lot of work. I would rather just do something for myself. In me so pravi, to je pa veliko dela, jaz bi rajš naredil nekaj sam zase. You know, the husband wakes up And he he gets this thought. I should cook some breakfast for my wife. In recimo moš se zbudi zjutra in dobi misu. Jaz bi lahko spripravu zajtrk za svojo ženo. Now I don't know. Do Slovenian husbands cook breakfast for their wives sometimes? Ne vem, a kdo je slovenski moji ne pripravijo zajtrk za svoje žene? Do you know, Bastian? I don't know. I'm not sure. Or the other way around, that the wife gets up and 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 she gets this thought, you know, make a nice breakfast for your husband. Al pa pa z druge strani, žena dobi zjutraj to miso, da bi dober zajtrk pripravila svojemu možu. 
but her her flesh says you know i am really tired and i worked very hard this this last few days Ampak i just don't want to do that njeno meso pravi zelo sem utrujena in nočem tega delat ko sem velik delala so here we have an example of in... the flesh uh yeah, that's conflicting with the spirit In tukaj imamo primer kako meso je v nasprotovanju uh, z duhom. Why would you get this thought I should make a nice breakfast? Where would that thought come from? Would that come from Satan? No. It would it come from God? Yes. Zakaj bi dobil tako misel da pripravaš zajtrk za za nekoga drugega, a bi ti hudič dal to misel? Ne. Bog ti lahko da tako misel. Because one is selfish and the other one is uh, giving. Ker, uh, uh, hudič je sebičen, uh, Bog je ta, ki služi, ljubi. And uh, so uh, these are just little examples of some way that we can learn to discern between what is flesh just flesh and what is spirit. In to so take mehni primeri po katerih se lahko naučimo razlikovat kaj je duh in kaj je meso. And it, it this kind of uh, uh, thought process will help us to understand that we are in two different worlds. Takšen način razmišljanja nam bo pomagal razumevati, da živimo v dveh različnih svetovih. It's those thoughts you get that are thoughts of sharing, serving, giving, uh, whether it's to God or whether it's to another person, that would be thoughts that the Holy Spirit is giving you. Te misli, ki jih dobivaš glede služanja drugim, izkazovanja ljubezni, pozornosti, prijaznosti drugim, uh, so misli, ka, ka ti jih da sveti duh. And thoughts of selfishness, anger, frustration, discouragement, maybe depression, uh, they're not thoughts from God. In misli... Uh, Jeze, razočaranja, obupa, depresije, uh, niso od Boga. Those thoughts come from your flesh or your natural self or come from a mind that's not renewed to the word. Take misli prihajajo od našega mesa, od našega naravnega človeka oziroma od uma, ki ni obnovljen z Božjo besedo. And so... Uh, this awareness of these two different worlds is very very important when we want to learn to understand authority tako da ta to zavedanje dveh različnih svetov je zelo pomembno pri razumevanju avtoritete uh, god always uh, has something to say about uh, what goes on in our life. Bog ima vedno kaj zapovedat glede tega, kaj se dogaja v naših življenjih. And, and, yes, and, and yes, Satan and all his demons who want to destroy God's connection to us always has something to say as well. In Satan in njegovi demoni, ki hočejo uničati Naša povezanost z Bogom maja tudi vedno kaj zapovedat. And we have to be aware that they're both working even right today at the same time. In moramo se zavedat, da te dve strani delata ves čas tudi zdaj. So whose voice will we listen to? Torej, kateri glas bomo poslušali? We have choices to make. Mamo na izbiro. And uh, and this is what we can learn as a believer to be effective in this world in serving God. In to se uh, rabimo naučit, da bomo na temu svetu lahko učinkoviti pri služenju Bogu.
You know, we are a spirit, we have a soul and we live in a body. Imamo smo duh, imamo dušo in živimo v telesu. First uh, Thessalonians 5:23 tells us that and you can just write that scripture down. We won't go there, but Prva Tesaloničanom 5:23 nam to govori, zdaj ne bomo šli to prebrat, ampak lahko si zapišete. So we are in a spiritual battle all the time. Torej smo v duhovni bitki ves čas. Do I, do I follow God's voice? Do I understand His voice? Or do I follow the flesh or Satan's voice? Ali razu- sledim Božji glas? Ali razumem, kaj mi govori? Ali pa uh, sledim hudičevemu glasu? So I'm going to stop here and we're just going to see if there are a couple of questions maybe we could answer uh, at this point and then we could go back to some more some more sharing. In se bomo tukaj ma ustavali in uh, če so mogoče kakšna vprašanja, uh, da odgovorimo na njih, tako da če imate vprašanje, lahko uh, dvignete roko ali pa na ta način uh, pomahate, uh, pa vam bom uklopil mikrofon. Recimo, tako le se da roko dvigant. Um. Um, ne, uh, prva tesaloničanom 5.23, mislim. Ja, duh, duša in telo, ja. Ok, za enkrat uh, ne vidim kakšnih vprašanj. So far no questions, so maybe it's all clear and we can just go on. Ok, ok. Um, so we're in, we are every day, uh, from morning till night, we are in a spiritual battle. Torej, vsak dan od jutra do večera smo v duhovni bitki. But when we learn the word, we find out that Jesus uh, is our victory and has provided answers for every battle. Ampak bolj spoznavamo Božjo besedo, uh, bolj vidimo, da je Jezus dobil zmago za nas in priskrbel uh, zmago za vsako našo bitko. So when we talk about a spiritual battle, it's not it's not where we have to consider this a bad thing. Tako da ko govorimo o duhovni bitki, to ni nekaj, kar bi moral med za nekaj slabega. It's part of our nature, our spiritual nature to be able to uh, defeat the enemy at every turn. Je del naše duhovne narave, da lahko v vsakmu trenutku premagamo sovražnika. Jesus has covered it all. Jezus je vse to pokril. We can be a, win- a winner each time. In smo lahko zmagovalci vsak, vsakmu trenutku, vsakič. And as we learn to take authority, we will lose some battles. In ko se učimo uporabljati avtoriteto, bomo zgubili kakšno bitko. For lack of knowledge. Zaradi uh, pomankanja znanja for lack of understanding zaradi pomankanja razumevanja we have to learn from mistakes in se moramo učiti na napakah but we learn uh, by studying the word ampak se učimo s preučevanjem božje besede we learn by letting the holy ghost teach us učimo se uh, Čestoka dovolmo svetmu duhu, da nas poučuje. In little by little. In malo po malo. We have a state staying in the states, states inch by inch. Imamo izrek v uh, ZDA uh, inčo po inčo. You will pa, get somewhere you haven't been before. Palec po palec pridemo nekam, kjer še nismo bili prej. It will be a higher, stronger walk with God. In to bo uh, močnejša hoja z Bogom. And that you will no longer be afraid of any of Satan's devices. In se ne bomo več bal nobeni, nobenega Satanovega orožja. Because you will realize he has been completely defeated 
by Jesus' work on the cross. Ker se bomo zavedali, da je bil Satan popolnoma poražen skozi Jezusovo delo na križu. Completely defeated. Popolnoma poražen. And we'll talk about that in future teachings. In bomo govorili o tem še v prihodnih učenih na to temo. But uh, let's go to Ephesians chapter 6 again. Ampak pajmo zdaj še enkrat v Efežanom šesto poglavje. Verse 10 through 12. Od 10 do 12 vrstice. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 12. Efežanom 6, 10 do 12. And the Apostle Paul once again says, uh, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Apostol Pavel pravi, končno pa moji bratje, bodite močni v gospodu. Which means uh, there might be a battle going where you feel weak. You feel like you're going to lose the battle. Recimo, dogaja se bitka, v kateri si in se čutaš šipkega in se bojiš, da bi uh, lahko zgubil to bitko. Where you don't know what to do. In ne veš, kaj bi naredil. You feel that God maybe has abandoned you. In uh, se mogoče čutaš, da te je Bog zapustil. He is not answering your prayers. Da ne, ne odgovarja na tvoje molitve. And uh, this happens a lot. In to se dogaja veliko. But we don't, uh, we, we don't uh, back off or give up. Ampak mi se ne umaknemo nazaj in ne odnehamo. If we know that we know that Jesus took care of this problem. Če vemo to, vemo, da je Jezus poskrbel za ta problem. So he says, be strong. Zato uh, pravi, bodite močni. And we think, how can we be strong if we look like we're losing a battle? In si mislimo, pa kako sem lahko močan, če zgleda, kot kar da zgupljam bitko. But he says it very specifically, be strong. But he says, be strong in the Lord. Pravi zelo konkretno, bodite močni v gospodu. So what does that mean? Kaj to pomeni? That means... Because Jesus is the head of the church and I am part of his body. To pomeni, da ker je Jezus glava crkve in jaz sem del njegovega telesa. He has got every, any weapon I need at, this, at that time. Ima on vsako orožje, ki ga tisti trenutek potrebujem. You know, you have an issue or a struggle or a battle where you have no idea how to stand against it. Recimo, se znajdeš v problemu ali v bitki, ki nimaš pojma, kako boš uh, stal proti temu. So, we have to realize this is my point today, is to be aware that believers have every weapon at their disposal that they need. In to je uh, močen povdarek za danes, uh, da se rabimo zavedati, da ve, kot verniki imamo vsako orožje, ki ga potrebujemo. You have to believe that that's true. Rabiš verjeti, da je to resnica. Every weapon. Vsako orožje. Any weapon. Katerokoli. That you need. Ki ga potrebuješ. Is right at your disposal. Je na dosegu tvoje roke. And that's what being in the Lord means. In to pomeni to v gospodu. Bodi močen v gospodu. His kingdom that he established on the earth has got everything covered. Njegovo kraljestvo, ki ga je vzpostavil na zemlji, je uh, pokrilo vsako področje, vsako potrebo. But I have to walk in it. Ampak moram hoditi v tem. That's being in the Lord, walking in the, the victory. To pomeni biti v gospodu, hoditi v zmagi. So there's an answer, but we need to search for it. Odgovor torej obstaja, ampak rabimo ga iskat. And when we see it, in ko ga vidimo, we need to act on it. Rabimo se odzvat na njega. And then the victory will manifest in, in this world, this natural world. 
in potem se bo zmaga manifestirala v temu naravnemu svetu. But the, uh, the weapon is in the spiritual world. Orožje je pa v duhovnem svetu. So I take that weapon and I apply it to the natural world. Vzamem ga in ga uporabam v naravnem svetu. Because it's God's power and it's God's grace that is given to you and me to defeat that battle, to be defeat the enemy in that battle. Ker dana nam je Božja moč in Božja milost, da uh, premagamo sovražnika v tej bitki. So, being strong in the Lord, and then another part of that scripture says, and in the power of His might. Oda pravi, uh, bodite močni v gospodu in sili njegove moči. So God really uh, fights that battle for us in the spirit realm first. In Bog je ta prvi, ki bori za nas bitko v duhovnem svetu. And how that happens is he gives us grace, which is his ability and his power given to us on our, uh, uh, how we say it, it's it's given to us for our sake. In to je uh, njegova milost, ki nam jo daje uh, za naše dobro. It's given to us as part of our provision. Daje nam to kot uh, del preskrbe za nas. Grace and God's power, you can't earn it. Uh, milosti in Božje moči ne moraš zaslužati. You can't uh, buy it. Ne moraš kupati tega. You can't uh, take it uh, as uh, something that's yours. Ne moraš vzeti tega, kot kar nekaj, kar je tvoje. It's God's power. To je Božja moč. It's God's grace. To je Božja milost. He freely gives it to you and me. In zastojim ti daje to uh, tebi in meni to use at the appropriate time. Da uporabimo v primernem času. And so that's why he says in the word let the weak say I am strong. In zato pravi Božji besedi uh, naj šib, šibki reče sem močan. Now if God gives you grace you are strong. Če ti Bog da milost ti si močan. And he he's already given the power through Jesus. In dal nam je že svoja moč preko Jezusa. So we have the equipment. We have the provision. We have the uh, arsenal or uh, weapons that we need for every uh, thing that the enemy tries to attack us with. Uh, tako da imamo opremo, imamo Božje preskrbo, arzenal, vsako potrebno orožje, da uh, zmagamo nad sovražnikom, ki nas napade. So uh, awareness of this is really important. In zavedanje tega je zelo pomembno. And uh, you can get this awareness by understanding it in the word and hearing it taught and letting the holy ghost bring it to your remembrance every day in to zavedanje dobiš da uh, na ta način da uh, vidiš to besedi poslušaš besedo ki govori o tem in dovoliš svetmu duhu da da to te spominja na to vsak dan and this is not complicated Komplicirano. This is simple. Je enostavno. So, so don't try to look at it as being very complicated. Uh, ne tega gledat, koliko kar da bi bilo zelo komplicirano. We're going to purpose Linda and I to teach on this as simply as possible so we can all uh, act on it and use it and then be strong in the Lord. Z Lindo imava namen uh, čim bolj enostavno učiti o tem, zato da bomo vsi to razumeli in uh, se odzivali na to in uporabljali in bili močni v Bogu. 
you know, he says in, in verse 11, put on the armor of God. V 11. That, vrstici... you may able to, yeah, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Pravi, nadenite si celotno Božjo bojno, premo, da se boste mogli upirati in stati proti vsem hudičevim zvijačem. Now we, we will discuss this also another time here. O tem bomo tudi še drugič govorili. But look at verse 12. Ampak pogledajmo we, 12. vrstico. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Naš boj se ne bije proti krvi in mesu. So what he says is the natural things are not the problem. In pravi da naravne stvari niso za nas problem. The natural things we face as natural human beings uh, are not the problem. Naravne stvari s katerimi se spopadamo kot uh, naravna človeška bitja niso problem. Jesus has overcome all these things. Jesus je premagal vse te stvari. On the cross. Na križu. And when he died and went to hell, he took all this with him to hell. In ko je umrl, uh, je vzel vse to sabo v peko. He was crucified. Bil je križen. He was beaten. Bil je pretepen. He was made a curse of je za nas. to destroy the power of all these natural things on man. Da bi moč vseh teh stvari, uh, so this is where we need to also be teaching on. O tem tudi rabimo, uh, se he says, he says in that scripture, uh, verse 16, that uh, it's not flesh and blood, but we're, we're standing against uh, principalities, powers, uh, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ta 12. vrstica pravi, naš boj se ne bije proti krvi in meso, ampak proti vladarstvom, proti oblastem, svetovnim gospodovalcem, tem račnosti, in z lahotnim duhovnim silam v nebeških področjih. So the spirit world, whether it's God's world or Satan's world, is very real. Tako da duhovni svet, ali ta, na katerega ima vpliv Bog, ali ta, na katerega vpliva hudič, je zelo resničen. But Jesus took care of all that. Ampak Jezus je poskrbel za vse to. And he resisted the devil when he bothered him on the earth. In se je upiru hudiču, ko ga je nadlegoval na zemlji. He commanded, he, he spoke to things, he commanded the devils to leave people. He spoke to natural things like winds and waves. Zapovedval je uh, hudičem, da ubogajo in, in odidajo, uh, zapoveduje, zapovedal je naravnim stvarem, vetrovom, viharju. In so he, he was able to do that as a man in to je bil zmožen, gave the authority. To je bil zmožen narediti kot človek, ker mu je Bog dal avtoriteto. Even though he was God himself, he on the earth, he was all men, just like we are, women, men, children, whatever. Čeprav je bil Bog, je tukaj na zemlji bil tako, kot kar mi, uh, ljudje, moški, ženske, otroci, but he left the earth. Je pa zapustu zemlo. But he left us here. In pustu nas tukaj. And we're his body. Kjer smo njegovo telo. And what the head did or does. In to, kar je glava naredila in uh, še vedno dela. The body can do. Tudi njegovo telo lahko dela. The head, who Jesus is, cannot do anything that the body or I, I say it like this, a head who is Jesus is now seated in heavenly places next to the Father. Glava, uh, telesa, ki je Jezus, je zdaj poleg nebeškega očeta na njegovi desnici. So he left as our head, went to heaven, but he left us with the authority as his body on the earth. 
Zapusto je zemlo, šel nebesa, ampak pusto nam je svojo avtoriteto tukaj na zemlji. You know, I'm going to say this and you can chew on it, but you cannot, uh, God cannot legally do things on this earth unless it's done through a man, through a person. Lahko še premišljujete o tem, ampak bom nakratko povedal, Bog ne more zakonito delati stvari tukaj na zemlji razen, če je to čez človeka. When he put Adam and Eve on the earth, he said, you take dominion over this earth. You take charge of it. It belongs to you. Ko je postavil človeka v edenski vrt, je rekel Adamu in Evi, vidva gospodujta in vladajta na tej zemlji, vama pripada. So, God gave man charge of this earth. Torej je Bog dal človeku oblast nad to zemljo. That's why Jesus had to come zato je Jezus moral prizvati kot človek. Because he came here as a man and by the power of the Holy Ghost he was able to exercise authority in the earth. Prišel je kot človek in je z močjo Svetega Duha moral uporabljati avtoriteto na zemlji. Now we're going to, as we go through these lessons, this is kind of like a school, you know, a course. We will realize that as his body, we now have the authority to, or the power to use authority on this earth against Satan and his lies and deceptions and his destructive work. Kot telo Jezusa Kristusa imamo avtoriteto tukaj na zemlji, da uporabljamo Jezusovo avtoriteto proti Satanu in njegovemu uničevalnemu delu in tega se bomo zavedali bolj in bolj, ko bomo šli čez ta tečaj, čez ta učenja. We have to we have to do this slowly and uh, step by step as you build a foundation. It takes time. It takes study. But this is what we want to do to help people understand this process. In bomo to delal korak po korak, zato ker je potreben čas, da se temeli zgradijo in na ta način želiva pomagat ljudem, da da razumejo te stvari. So when there's these problems in the earth, we're not fighting against people. Torej, ko so te problemi na zemlji, se mi ne borimo proti ljudem. We're fighting against spiritual forces. Borimo se proti duhovnim silam. That use people. Ki uporabljajo ljudi. Satan has to use people because he doesn't have any power himself. Satan tudi mora uporabljati ljudi, zato ker on sam od sebe nima nobene moči. It's been destroyed. Bila je uničena. But he uses people, he lies, he deceives. Ampak uporablja ljudi, vara, laže. And he allows, people open their hearts to allow him to activate problems. Activate destructive things, and then people walk in that because they're led by Satan's forces. In če ljudi odprejo Satan u svoje srce, potem aktivira čez njih svojo zlobo in delajo uničevalne stvari. So, I'm going to end with this Second Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. Zaključil s tem druga Korinčanom 2. Chapter 2, 2 Korinčanom 2, verse 14. Šta ne stavstite? Thanks. Ok. Now, thanks be to God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ. Hvala Bogu, ki nas v Kristusu kar naprej 
venča za zmagoslavem oziroma pa vzroča, da zmagujemo. In ta scripture can make you just like make you just crazy upset. In ta citat te lahko kar uh, hudo razjezi. Because we are in a situation, we are in a battle. Ker smo v situaciji bitki, ker se borimo in molimo. But we're not seeing this uh, triumph. Ampak ne vidimo te zmage. And the reason is we have to be very honest with ourselves. In razlog je moramo biti zelo iskreni sami s sabo. We the Bible says we perish for lack of knowledge. Da uh, sveto pismo pravi da uh, božji ljudje propadajo zaradi pomankanja znanja. We we don't quite understand how this is how this works. Ne razumemo čist dobro kako te stvari delujejo. We thought we did but we don't. Mislili smo da razumemo, ampak ne. And that's very common. To je zelo pogost. Don't feel guilty. Ne se čutat krive. Ne se čutat pod obtožbo. Just understand, you know, this is a process. Samo sprejmi to, da je to pač proces. And then, uh, you know, he says we triumph and he says we make, make man manifest. Manifest means we see the results of it in the natural world because it started in the spirit world, but now it actually manifests. The answer manifests. In potem naprej pravi, da, da Bog čez nas manifestira oziroma uh, razširja v naravnem svetu uh, to, kar, kar on povzroča. And what makes it so exciting is that we were involved in seeing it manifest. In to je tako navdušujoče, da smo mi vključeni v to, da vidimo uh, manifestacijo tega Božjega delovanja. So we, we took the answer from the Spirit and we directed it to this natural world and then we saw the answer manifest. Vzamemo odgovor iz duhovnega sveta, ga usmermo v naravni svet in potem vidimo, da se odgovor manifestira. This is what God wants believers to, to do. To Bog hoče, da verniki delajo. And uh, Satan is a good at blinding people's eyes. Uh, Satan je dober v tem, da slepi oči ljudem. He's good at bringing fear and deception. Dober je v tem, da prinaša strah in prevaro. And although he has no right to do that, čeprav nima pravice, da to dela. He still succeeds because man uh, opens the door to him. Je še vedno uspešen zato, ker mu ljudje odprejo vrata. And we want to close these doors. Mi pa hočemo zapreti ta vrata. We can do this. In lahko to naredimo. So I encourage you. In zato vas podbujam. And I pray for you. In molim za vas. That your heart will desire this. Da bo vaše srce si želelo to. That you will not get weary in well doing da ne boste uh, opešali in se utrudili v tem, da delate dobro. You'll not get weary to fight the fight of faith. Da se ne boste utrudili v temu, da borite boj vere. Because it is a fight. Ker je boj. We are in a war. Smo v vojni. But you know we win. Ampak pomemben je, da zmagamo. We stay in it, we win. Mi ustanemo v bitki in zmagamo. And we will be successful in uh, drawing other people into the body. In bomo uspešni v, tudi v tem, da pritegnemo druge ljudi v Jezusovo telo. God wants more kids in his kingdom. Bog hoče več otrok v svojemu kraljestvu. And we must be the ones to do this. In mi smo tisti, ki delamo to. Sharing Jesus and his victory. Uh, in uh, delimo z drugimi uh, o Jezusu in njegovi zmagi. Glory be to God. Slava Bogu. Glory be to God. Slava Bogu. So this will be a journey for us in 2021. Torej, to bo naše potovanje v 2021. And I firmly believe that if we work on this together, by the end of next year, your life will be radically changed. 
In verjamem, da če resno delamo skupaj glede tega, da do konca naslednjega leta bo vaše življenje radikalno spremenjeno. We trust by next spring sometime we can come there in person and teach on this. Zaupamo Bogu, da enkrat do pomladi bomo lahko, bova lahko tudi osebno prišla v Slovenijo in učila o tem osebno. But in the meantime, but in the meantime we will Zoom. Med, do takrat bova pa pač preko Zooma. We will send materials to uh, Bastian and Tanya to share with you Bova poslala kakšne materiale teaching. Uh, uh, in Tani, da jih delita z vami in uh, bojo utrdil to, kar uh, učiva. But today I want you to remember that you can learn to become aware of this battle going on all the time. Ampak danes želim, da uh, uh, veš, da se lahko začneš zavedat te bitke duhovne, ki se dogaja vse čas. Don't be afraid of being in a battle. Ne se bad tega, da si v bitki. You've got the armor on. Ker imaš orožje na sebi. You are covered. Si pokrit. God's angels are watching over you. In Boži angeli čuvajo nad tabo. You can stay safe in him. Lahko ostaneš varan v Bogu. And uh, it will work for you. In bo deloval zate. Glory to God. Slava Bogu. I praise the Lord. Slavim Boga. Well, um, Boštijan, I don't know what you would like to do in the last minutes of the gathering. Um, yeah, we could uh, maybe sp- uh, again give opportunity for questions and then we can pray. Some, okay. some practical exercise of authority. Okay. Uh, torej, uh, če bi zdaj imel kdo kakšno konkretno vprašanje, lahko uh, uh, ali si vklopaš kamero, pa, pa pomahaš ali dvigneš roko, Ka zdaj, ne vem, če je dost časa, da natipkaš, je lažji povedat. Tako da, če kaj ni bilo jasno, tudi kasnej nam lahko pošljete, ne? Če uh, pol, ko se Zoom konča, lahko kakšno vprašanje pošljete na info afnaspremi.si in uh, lahko uh, naslednjič odgovorimo na to ali pa uh, pisno, tako da tudi ta možnost je. Drugač pa tudi, če je kakšna uh, osebna potreba za molitev, tudi lahko zdaj, zdaj specifično molimo za koga, uh, a ne, če, če želite podeliti z nami, lahko tudi samo men ali pa tani pošljete uh, potrebo za molitev, pa bom uh, povedal domo in bomo skupi molili. Drugač bomo pa molili pač na splošno, tako kot kar uh, ga Sveti Duh vodi. Tako da vse ta čas, ki molimo, imate više čas za razmiseliti, za napisati, za odločiti se, če boste dvigalni roko. Ja, yeah, Dom, I gave a long introduction and encouragement, so they have a, a time to write or uh, uh, respond during, uh, as we pray. Okay. Now, uh, whatever is on your heart. There is a a necessity we have, and that is to uh, not uh, be discouraged with battles that come our way. Uh, je ena velika potreba, ki jo imamo in to je, da nismo, uh, da ne dovolimo, da nam bitke uh, ukradejo pogum. It's easy sometimes not to do what we know to do. Uh, časah je lahko nar- ne narediti celo tisto, kar že vemo, da bi morali narediti. When we get frustrated, when we get angry, when we get confused, we normally don't have uh, an unction to pray. 
recimo, k naskaj razjezi ali smo zmedeni, razočarani, doskrat nimamo motivacije, da bi molili. We are just motivated to just go into the flesh and just be carnal. Smo motivirani samo za to, da smo meseni. That's normal. To je normalno. Your flesh wants to talk. Tvoj meso tudi hoče govoriti. Your mind wants to be upset. Tvoj um hoče biti uznemirjen, razburjen. Because it doesn't understand. Ker ne razume. What's happening. Kaj se dogaja. Why doesn't it change? Zakaj se stvari ne spremenijo? Those can be mind questions and they will lead to nothing. In to so vprašanja uma, ki ne prepeljajo nikamor. When I get frustrated, I stop. Ko se jaz zafrustriram, se ostavam. I just stop. Enostavno se ostavam. And I start and I say, What weapon do I have? Many times the Holy Ghost will say, pray in the Holy Spirit. And I say, I don't want to. And the Holy Spirit in his loving way will say, there is an answer right there. Ampak Sveti Duh bo na svoj ljubeč način rekel, tukaj imaš odgovor. In pol rečem, ja, ampak se ne počutim, da bi molo. Ampak Sveti Duh bo prijazno rekel, ampak bo delovalo za te. Te bo pripeljalo ven. Te bo pripeljalo ven v spiritu. Pripeljalo te bo v duha. No feelings, just facts. Because I'm a spirit being, I can pray in the spirit, no matter how I feel. Ker si jaz sem duhovno bitje in lahko molim v duhu, ne glede na to, kako se počutam. So then I finally say, okay, you're right. In potem končno rečem, okaj, Bog, imaš prav. I will start to pray, I will just pray in the spirit while I'm doing things. Bom začel moliti v duhu med tem, ko delam druge stvari. Lahko moliš med tem, ko vozaš. Moliš med tem, ko delaš v kuhini. Moliš, ko si v službi. Moliš v duhu nekaj časa. In kaj se zgodi? Je skriptura vse začne začne v tebi. Obljube iz Božje besede ti bojo pa začele prihajati v spomin. In potem ti Sveti Duh reče, govor zdaj te citate. Karkoli dobiš v spomin. Velikrat ni zgleda smiselno, ampak samo naredi to. To je en način. But it works every time. Ki deluje vsakič. It gets me out of the flesh. In me spravi ven iz mesa. It gets me out of the natural things. Spravi me ven iz naravnih stvari. It gets me in the spirit. In me prestavi v duha. Now I still may not feel a thing. Še vedno mogoče nič ne čutim. I may not feel happy or glad. In se ne čutim bolj veselga. I still might feel sad. Še vedno se mogoče počutim žalostnega ali brez poguma. Ampak to ni pomembno. Ker to je vse meso. Ostani v duhu. Če moraš ustrajati v tej naravnanosti ure, ni pomembno. Ne bo vrati Holy Ghost. Ne boš iztrošil svetega duha. Ampak na ta način hodeš v duhu. In nenadoma se bojo stvari začele dogajati. Božja moč te bo vzdigljna. In prestavlja tvoj um 
stran za naravnih stvari. Now this is just one way to take authority. To je en način kako prevzeti avtoriteto. Every day, any day. Vsak dan, kjerkoli dan. Because it's your gift from God. Ker je tvoj dar od Boga. And grace starts pouring into you. In Božja milost se začne izlivati vate. And power starts coming out of you. In moč začne prihajati skozi tebe. You don't have to understand it with your mind. Ne rabiš tega razumeti sa svojim umom. So this is one one way to take authority. To je en način kako vzeti uporabati avtoriteto. And it works. In deluje. Doesn't matter if you're a young Christian or an old Christian. Ni pomembno če si mlad ali star kristjan. It matters not. To ni pomembno. Doesn't matter how many problems there are in your life, it doesn't matter. Ni važno koliko problemov je v tvojem življenju. The Lord helps you with one at a time. Gospod ti pomaga pri enmu na enkrat. But a lot of times one leads to another. One Ampak answer leads to another answer. Doskrat je tako, da en rešen problem reši potem naslednje. Because everything's connected. Ker je vse povezano. But the spirit, it's in the spirit where the answer is. Ampak v duhu je odgovor. So we will talk more about that. O tem bomo več govoril. But for now, this is one example to you is how this is one way to take authority. Za enkrat pa imate ta en primer, kako vzeti avtoriteto, uporabiti avtoriteto. And remember, we're not fighting against people. In spomente se, ne borimo se proti ljudem. Or governments, or neighbors. Spouses, kids. Za koncem, otrokom. No, we're standing against the evil influence of the enemy. Ne, stojimo proti zlobnim vplivom sovražnika. And what it does, it pushes him away. In kaj to povzroči, odrine ga stran. It's a way to resist the devil and he has to flee. To je način, kako se vpred hudiču in mora pobegati. So you pray, you start to pray in the spirit. Začneš moliti v duhu. And then, you know, when you start doing this, you do that for five minutes and you think, oh my, I don't see any change. In ko začneš to delati, delaš to pet minut in rečeš, o je, in ne vidim nobene spremembe. But you can just keep praying. Lahko pa ustrajaš v molitvi. Any time. Kadarkoli. And realize, you know, I could pray for an hour in the spirit and I would not get tired. In se lahko zaveš, da lahko molaš tudi eno uro v duhu, pa se ne boš vklonil. And if you can do that, do it. In če lahko to narediš, nared to. And you will be surprised how much grace is ministered to you. In boš presenečen, koliko velik milosti ti Bog lahko da v tem včasu. So let me pray. Tako da bom molil zdaj. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oče v imenu Jezusa. We thank you that your word is life to us. Se ti zahvaljujemo, da je tvoja beseda življenje za nas. It's health to our flesh. In da je zdravje za našem telo. You sent your word to us. Ti si poslal svojo besedo k nam. To heal us. Da nas ozdravaš. And deliver us from all destruction. In nas osvobodiš iz vsakega uničenja. So today we thank you. Tako da danes se ti zahvaljujem. You have provided provision for every need. Da si priskrbel za vsako potrebo. Every need. Vsaka potreba. Lord, you have made provision. Je preskrbljena od tebe. For us to take a hold of spiritual truth. Da se oprimemo lahko duhovne resnice. And put it to work in this natural world. In da začne delovati za nas v temu naravnemu svetu. To release it out of our mouth. Da jo sprostimo iz svojih ust. And believe that it's your word. In verujemo, da je tvoja beseda. And have confidence that you hear us and you will answer. In imamo gotovost, da nas ti slišaš in boš odgovoril. 
So we thank you for that promise. Tako da se ti zahvaljujemo za to obljubo. We thank you by Jesus stripes we were healed. Hvala ti da po Jezusovih ranah smo bili ozdravljeni. You took our infirmities and you bore our sicknesses. Ti si uzeo naše bolezni i nosu naše slabosti. Thank you for that, Lord. Hvala ti za to, Gospod. Thank you. For... You redeemed us from the curse of the law. Hvala da si nas odkupu rešu iz prekletstva zakona. You became a curse for us. Ti si postal prekletstvo za nas. Thank you, Lord. Hvala ti, Gospod. Thank you, Lord. Hvala ti. Thank you, Lord, for encouraging each believer. Hvala ti, Gospod, da opogumljaš vsakega vernika. And here's our voice today. Da slišaš naš glas danes, vsazga vernika slišaš. I pray you grace them, Lord. Molam, da jih obdariš z milostjo. To become aware. Da se zavedajo. That you're there. Da si ti prisoten. You're still. Spirit is a working in them. Da tvoj duh deluje v njih. That you've destroyed the powers of the enemy. Da si uničil moči sovražnika. That you've given us this authority to use on this earth. Da si nam dal to avtoriteto, ki jo lahko porabljamo na zemlji. Command Satan to leave us. In zapovemo Satanu, da nas zapusti in bo pobegno. To command sickness to leave. Da zapovemo bolezni, da odide. To speak to our bodies with authority. Da govorimo s svojim telesom z avtoriteto. Because we have the right. Ker imamo pravico. Because we are the body of Christ. Ker smo telo Jezusa Kristusa. In Jezus, you will back up that authority. In Jezus, ti boš potrdil to avtoriteto. Declare what we've declared on earth, it'll be declared in heaven. To, kar mi razglasimo na zemlji, boš ti razglasil v nebesih. Even though we don't understand it, Lord, with our minds. Tudi, če ne razumemo tega sa svojim umom. We do it because you said to be doers of your word. Gospod, mi to delamo, ker si rekel, naj bomo izvrševalci tvoje besede. So we choose to do your word. In se odločamo da bomo izvrševali tvojo besedo. Pray in the spirit. Da bomo molili v duhu. To speak your word with authority. Da bomo govorili tvojo besedo z avtoriteto. We can say Father your word says this. In lahko rečemo oče tvoja beseda pravi to. That means I can believe what your word says. To pomeni lahko verujem kar tvoja beseda pravi. I can believe it and I say it. Lahko to verujem in lahko rečem to. And do it in Jesus name. In naredim to v imenu Jezusa. Glory be to God. Slava Bogu. Praise you Lord. Slava ti Gospod. Thank you Father. Hvala ti Oče. For giving us your precious word. Da si nam dal tvojo dragoceno besedo. It's life to us who find it. Ki nam je, ki je življenje nam, ki jo najdemo. It's life. Je življenje. It's light to our minds. In je luč za naš um. It's health unto our flesh. In je zdravje za naše telo. Bless your name, O God. Slavimo tvoje ime, Bog. It's provision to all our financial needs. Tvoja beseda je preskrba za vsako našo človeško potrebo. You truly desire for us to prosper and to be in health as our souls prosper. Resnično ti želiš, da napredujemo, prosperiramo in smo zdravi tako, kot kar naša duša napreduje. We know, Lord, that our souls will prosper as we say and meditate in your word. Vemo, da naša duša bo napredovala, ko govorimo in premišljujemo tvojo besedo. So if our souls can prosper, then we also know our health can prosper. In če naša duša napreduje, bo tudi naše zdravje napredovalo. And our finances can prosper. In naše finance bojo napredovale. Because that's your desire. Ker to je tvoja želja. So open our eyes, Lord. Odpri naše oči, Gospod. Open our eyes to the truth. Odpri naše oči za resnico. That you have provided in your word. 
da si ti priskrbel za nas v svoji besedi. Slava Bogu, hvala ti Bog. And I believe the truth sets us free, Lord, because you said it. In verjamam da nas resnica osvobodi zato ker si ti to rekel. Sets us free from the enemy's lies. Osvobodi nas so vražnikovih laži. It sets us free from lack. Osvobodi nas pomankanja. It sets us free from problems that are beset us. Osvobodi nas problemov, ki nas napadajo. Thank you, Lord. Hvala ti, Gospod. Thank you, Lord. Hvala ti, Jezus. Thank you, Lord. Hvala ti. Until next time, we say God bless you. Do naslednjič pravimo Bog vas blagoslovi. God bless you all and have a blessed Christmas. Bog vas blagoslovi vse, imajte blagoslovljen Božič. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray you will have a blessed new year coming up. In molam, da boste imeli tudi blagoslovljeno novo leto, ki prihaja. Blessed in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Blagoslovljen na načine, ki si niste mogli niti predstavljati. Glory to God. Slava Bogu. Glory to God. Slava Bogu. Glory to God. Slava Bogu. Praise God. Praise God. Aleluja. Hvala ti, Jezus. Aleluja. Hvala ti. Bjorn, thank you. Thank you, Dom. This was a good start. We are warming up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, dober začetek. Se ugrevamo zdaj na temu področju.